We're back here in the Tri-State. A nice day today, but that summer heat is going to crank up a bit as the week continues. Storm Team 44 meteorologist Gunnar Consul is tracking that summer heat that's sticking around. Gunnar. Yeah, and what's going to be worse is it's not just going to be hot, but it's also going to be humid because right now it's close to 90 degrees, but the humidity is very, very low, so it's actually fairly comfortable out there. It'll be a different case by the end of the week, so right now it's feeling like a warm fall afternoon, but by the end of the week it'll be feeling like a hot, sticky summer afternoon. It's 86 in Mount Vernon, one of the coolest locations you'll find in the Tri-State. Now the next couple of hours we're dealing with a very mild afternoon and evening. Once the sun goes down we'll be dropping into those 70s. So this is honestly perfect weather for any outdoor practices going on after school or any events that you have post school or even post work. Maybe taking the family out for a walk or a run. It's going to be very comfortable. Once we head towards 8, 9 o'clock by dinner time things are going to be in the low 70s. It's not going to be the best overnight to have those windows open to cool things off because it's going to take a while to actually get to that point to cool off. And it's even going to be fairly muggy out there just a little bit. Now, tomorrow morning, heading to the bus stop, 63. Again, the humidity is going to be on the rise a little bit tomorrow. So it's going to be muggy and warm as we start off the day and then muggy and toasty. So things will be feeling a little bit more humid even though the temperature is almost the same exact as today. So today and tomorrow, very similar in their high temperature, but tomorrow is going to be more muggy. And then it's also going to be not just hot, but also humid, not Thursday though. So it's kind of a combination that we're dealing with. Tomorrow it's warm and muggy. Thursday it's hot, but not humid. But then on Friday it's hot and humid. So the reason why it's going to be hot on Thursday is all that sunshine but the fact that we won't have any humidity is all thanks to that north wind. Unfortunately, we lose that north wind Friday. That's when we have winds out of the south. That's what brings our humidity up. So that's what the timing of that humid weather I'm talking about is Friday into the weekend. It's going to be feeling a lot like summer. And all this week, high pressure is stuck in place due to the jet stream in this kind of upside down horseshoe shape. So we are not the only ones dealing with this persistent summer heat. It's also all of the central U.S. That's going to keep our temperatures well above average for the remainder of the week. And let's just show you that seven-day forecast. Is there any chance for rain at all? Well, just barely after a hot, humid, muggy last day of summer Saturday, a warm, muggy, hot first day of fall, we only see an isolated shower possible Monday, but that looks to usher in some cooler weather, and we're back in the low 80s by the middle of next week.